Let's talk about that bill that you mentioned just a little bit. I spoke with Congresswoman Debbie Wasserman Schultz earlier this month. She co-sponsored the bill. It was the Access to Family Building Act. She told me that the bill would codify um, IVF access. She also told me that some Republicans took their name off of the bill. You tweeted this about the legislation. Quote, I was added to this bill without confirmation. There are amendments that need to take place before I decide to sponsor. And thus, my team will be working to come to an agreement to get bipartisan legislation on the table. First, what gave you pause when it came to this legislation? And second, can you give us any insight to what those amendments would be? Yeah, so if you look at my legislation, it actually goes forward and it targets specific federal funding that certain states would want in order to um, basically benefit their constituents. So if you're going to get federal funds, then you should be required to ensure that the funds that you're getting is also being able to be used for individuals that are seeking IVF. And so it would take more of a federalist approach. You know, the other legislation, I believe, potentially allows loopholes for abortion. And so I will say that there's a very big difference between IVF and abortion. One creates life, one takes life. And so I wanted to ensure that my legislation specifically was fo focusing on uh, making life and not allowing for any other loopholes. But I will say, you know, unfortunately, this is politics. And Debbie Washerman Scholes, and even saying that, you know, she's had a really big problem with me since I got elected. And I'm sure a lot of women who are watching this have also had sometimes issues with other women in the workplace. And so um, I wouldn't necessarily look at her for answers on why I took my name off the bill. She called Republicans taking their names off the bill. To me, she said it was a form of MAGA extremism. What do you make of that? You know, Debbie Washerman Scholes actually refused to put her name on my post office, which might sound silly, but in Congress, if you're going to get a post office, you have to have everyone in your delegation do it. And her reasoning was, I didn't say hi to her at a picnic. So Debbie Washerman Scholes, I pray for on a regular basis, but I think that she needs to get her priorities straight. To back to the conversation of IVF, do you support codifying IVF protections into law? I support making sure that we have a federalist approach on this matter. So again, if you look at my bill and how it's actually written, what we do is we go after funding specifically. I think the federal government in regards to overreach needs to be very careful that we're not violating a state's rights. And that's exactly why our founding fathers wrote the constitution the way that they did. And so my bill specifically ensures that one, we are using the power of the purse as Congress, but it also makes sure that there's no federal government overreach. Reach. So it basically says, if you a, as a state are seeking this funding, then you need to ensure that you are not violating an individual's right to try IVF in the event that they are clinically diagnosed with infertility.